We begin this week on a launch pad at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. There, NASA launched a satellite designed to improve weather forecasting and an experimental inflatable heat shield to protect spacecraft. Officials say the weather satellite will increase the precision of observations of our planet. They say the heat shield could be used to slow and protect heavy spacecraft sinking into other planetary atmospheres such as that of Mars or Venus as well as payloads returning to Earth. Meanwhile, aerospace and defense giant Northrop Grumman launched the SS Sally Ride cargo capsule to the International Space Station. Named for the first American woman in space, the capsule ran into trouble after liftoff from Wallops Island in Virginia. Only one of its two solar panels deployed, but company officials assured NASA there was enough power for the space rendezvous that took place two days later at the space station. The SS Sally Ride carried with it more than 3,700 kilograms of supplies. Northrop Grumman is one of only two companies that deliver cargo for NASA. SpaceX is the other, and it's scheduled to make a delivery later this month. In other news, slowly but surely, NASA's moon rocket went back to a launch pad following yet another round of repairs. The massive 98-meter Space Launch System, or SLS, rocket left its Florida hangar as NASA aims for another launch attempt November 14th. Fuel leaks grounded Artemis in August, with Hurricane Ian forcing it back inside at the end of September. Artemis 1 will be NASA's first step in establishing an outpost on the moon and will send an uncrewed capsule as a test run. Elsewhere, preparations ramp up for the first-ever space launch from Britain. Officials say Cosmic Girl, that's Virgin Orbit's modified Boeing 747 and the Launcher 1 rocket are almost ready for takeoff from England's spaceport Cornwall. Officials say the mission, named Start Me Up after the Rolling Stones song, will make even more history for Cornwall. This is the first time we'll be putting satellites into space and it's all going to happen from right here. The various satellite missions include reducing environmental impacts, preventing smuggling and performing a host of national security jobs. The mission now awaits a license from the Civil Aviation Authority with a launch date expected in weeks. Finally this week, the moon once again pulled its disappearing act and sky gazers across the Americas, Asia and Australia got a show. Known as a blood moon for its reddish color, the total lunar eclipse happens as the moon passes completely through Earth's shadow. It was the second total lunar eclipse of this year. The first one was in May, but if you missed it, you'll have to wait until 2025 for the next show. See you then. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.